Um, Technolandian here are three things that I like about the game Deal or No Deal. It's a fun way to really get kids involved in some mathematical thinking, especially around some probability and statistics, and even able to bring in some collaboration along the way. The basic premise is pretty straightforward. You pick one suitcase, it gets set aside, and then you start selecting other suitcases which eliminate some numbers and try to start getting some statistics as to what yours might be. Along the way, it pauses and gives an offer where you can end the game by accepting the offer. This is a fun part to involve the whole class with because first off, you get to pick one number and then you go around and people eliminate some numbers as we're going through. When it comes to the offer, it's also a great chance for students to decide, is that safe enough time to stop the game and take what's being offered? Start looking at some of the probability of what might be left on the board and what you might end up with. It's also fun as the offers to come up with to start talking about what that could mean in real life applications. If you were to get a $97,000 offer, what might you do with that kind of money in that situation? And then the game starts getting a little faster and more furious. So not only are you able to start talking about a bit on probability and statistics and start talking about uh, some life skills with regards to what money might do, but it also leads to the element of chance. As you go around the classroom and everybody eliminates one suitcase, there's going to be some groans and some cheers, especially when you lose the million dollars and suddenly the offer goes down. <sighs> but then you keep going and somebody will eliminate the penny and the smaller amounts and your offer gets bigger. And then it starts coming down to the choice about how confident are you with your first guess, knowing that in this case, it's very much a complete game of chance and you have no idea really what is in your briefcase, whether it's $500,000, a million or one penny. And the nice part is it's not real high stakes world. Instead, it is a lot of a gameplay where you get to play around and feel when is the right time to get out of the game. And because it's always a little bit different, sometimes you're going to end up where you're feeling pretty positive about yourself and making a deal that works out well for you. And at the same time, if you end up with a penny, no harm, no foul. So a fun way to start talking about statistics, probability, bring in the element of math as a fun community game, and then individual challenges and see who can end up leaving the game with the best amount of money. I'm Technolandy, and those are three reasons why I like Deal or No Deal in the classroom.